All right, welcome. This is the demo of the Chrome OS or the Chrome operating system on a Google Chromebook. So that's what I have open here, my Chromebook. Um, really basic things. Uh, the quick start menu, okay, these items are pinned there. If I wanted to get rid of something, like I don't want docs pinned right there, I can just unpin it. What we think of as the start menu on a Windows machine is the app menu on a Chromebook because Chromebooks are based on apps that you find in the Chrome web store. So these Chromebook, sorry, these apps I um, put on here, some of them like the Google ones automatically came, but calculator, snag it, I added those myself. And you can, if you, you would have multiple pages, you have a search option so you could go in and search for those. In the lower right corner, you got, you have the time, Wi-Fi, battery, and then your little profile picture. Now, no matter where you click here, you're gonna get the same menu. So this menu shows you who you're signed in as, and you can sign out of that account and sign in as a different account if you wanted to switch from your SCC account to your personal account. Um, you can see which wireless you're connected to, if you have any Bluetooth devices connected. If you are connected to a projector, or like me, I'm, scre I'm screen casting this right now, um, you can see if anybody else is connected to your screen. Volume, battery life, the shutdown button is here. You can also lock it, which does not shut it off. It just like logs it like logs you out, but doesn't won't let anybody else log in. It locks your computer. Um, if you're gonna leave your Chromebook unattended, I would at least lock it, if not shut it down. It's really quick shutdown, like four seconds. Um, so that's not a big deal. Uh, date and help. Now settings is also here. When you click settings, you bring up this. Um, window in Google Chrome so you can get to settings two ways you can use this settings here or you can use the menu button in Chrome and go to settings and get to this page and it same page no matter which way you get to it this again shows you your internet connection your appearance you can change your wallpaper background you can um, set your home button so I have my little house up here that will always take me to the SCC home page whenever I click it um, you can change the touchpad settings and your keyboard settings and display settings here. Um, you can also change your search and you can go into advanced settings and change more things um, if you'd like. I haven't played with these too terribly much, but they are there if you would like them. Um, now, the Chromebook doesn't have any internal storage sitting right in front of me except for one folder. If you go into the, your app menu and click files, everybody should have a file button. Files um, is the only internal storage that you can access um, on your Chromebook. And this is the, it's called the downloads folder. So you have your Google Drive folder where your Google Docs and spreadsheets and presentations are. But then the downloads folder is what I typically use. This is if I'm like downloading a picture so I could upload it to the website, okay? So this is kind of temporary storage. I would not use this as your main storage. Your main storage should be Google Drive or a flash drive that you're plugging into your Chromebook. So that's kind of the only storage you have here if you need it. Um, now you'll notice the desktop is pretty empty. That's how it's gonna stay. You can't really put anything on the desktop. It's not that you're gonna have files sitting right here on the desktop or uh, program shortcuts sitting right here on the desktop. So that's kind of the basics of the Chrome OS. Um, one thing to note, you do have a camera, so you can uh, webcast if you'd like. Hi. Um, and you can play with that as needed. If you have any questions about the operating system or apps extensions, anything like that, just put in a help desk ticket and we will pick it up.